Welcome back to another Los Angeles Kings franchise rebuild episode number three here just coming off of the first season and as expected I mean it didn't go well side note shout out to Ebala, Lapis and Mac will go for their suggestions on what we should be doing with this draft so we will not trade up but if we can move Drew Doughty to get a higher draft pick. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. So definitely something to check out here. But yeah, year one in the books. Obviously didn't have a great year. We do finish 30, 42, and 10. But we did make some moves at the end of the year at the trade deadline. We got rid of Anze Kopitar to bring in Clayton Keller. So we, we do have some good prospects here. Clayton Keller, Quinn and Byfield jumped up from an 82 to an 88 overall. So he is definitely our future. I'm very excited for that. Victor Arvidsson still on the team. Honestly, getting paid a decent amount, 4.25 for the next two years after this year. But I think he'll help out the team. And uh, I kind of want to keep him around unless the trade is perfect. Adrian Kempe, we got to get him a little bit more involved. He is a top six uh, medium uh, medium top six potential and then 82 overall so he's pretty good we haven't playing second line Rasmus Kapari he's also a top six medium potential but the thing with him is he's got no superstar x factor so he's probably a career third liner maybe if he grows a little bit get to that second line but when the team gets a little bit better maybe he's a trade bait something along those lines and get him away for a two-way forward drew doughty the big story do we move drew doughty if we do can we get a first round pick or we'll see what we can do with drew doughty because he is on a crazy contract i mean 11 mil for the next six years definitely not worth it i'm sorry all kings fans mackley you guys understand Drew Doughty, I mean, he was a great player. Three cups with you boys, but... Or not three cups, sorry. A couple cups, two cups. I think two cups? Two cups for one cup. With uh, with the LA Kings, I mean, he is... He was a beast. And he still is a beast in real life. But this is a fast move franchise. You know, Drew Doughty, I don't think you'll have a home here much longer. Longer. Gabe Velarde, another one of those guys. Medium top six. But... He's got no superstar X factor, but he is a two-way forward. So keeping him on the team, he's got good physical, good defensive stats. So I definitely want to keep him around. Also, 41 points in 82 games. I mean, pretty damn good. Andreas Anthonisius, Dustin Brown, Alex Turcott. Very excited for Alex Turcott. He's going to be a really good playmaker. for. Oh, he's actually listed as a two-way forward. I thought he was a playmaker, but that's okay. Two-way forward is probably better, to be honest. And then, yeah, that's the boys. So we do need to look for a goaltender. Goaltending is definitely an issue that we're going to have to address in this draft. But let's get into this draft. I was thinking Miro, but I wanted to trade up. But you guys convinced me not to. So let's advance a day here. I've never actually done these draft. In well, I skipped it by accident. So let's get in to the NHL entry draft. It's going to be a big one. We're not getting the first overall pick. I want to see if it's going to be Shane Wright. It is Shane Wright, high elite, 83 overall. Okay, let's see. Let's go if we, let's see if we find a trade. Will someone take Drew Doughty? Just off curiosity, you know, add asset. So no trades found for Drew Doughty. So if we want to make this happen, we're going to have to make a manual trade. I wonder if I can try getting Drew Doughty for a, a first next year. So not this year because the trade value is a little bit higher. But next year, can we get rid of Drew Doughty? I don't think we're going to be a good team next year either. So that's why I'm not crazy. Like, I don't mind trading him. Winnipeg. Someone like... I don't think they would want him. Toronto. Definitely don't want to give him to Toronto. Seattle. Seattle would be a bad option. San Jose. Eh? San Jose. You guys want him to play with Eric Carlson? It looks like they've gotten rid of Eric Carlson. Wow, did someone trade for Eric Carlson? Eric Carlson is no longer on the San Jose Sharks. I wonder what happened there. Um, but we can probably swing a deal here since they got all that cap. They have the 10th this round. This, actually, it's probably... We can get this pick most likely. A one-for-one one deal. I feel like I want next year's pick, though. If we give them... Okay, let's try this. Trade rejected. Okay. I wouldn't mind giving away our first to trade up. The second I don't want to give away, give away the fifth. We're going to have no depth picks here. Third, come on. Too far off. Hmm. Do I, I don't want to give up the second. Trade accepted. Drew Doughty is gone. We got two first round picks for Drew Doughty. We did give up a second. I didn't want to do that. I, that. 
I did not plan on making that move. I did not plan on making that move. So Drew Doughty, Anze Kopitar after year one are off the LA Kings. Obviously, I think we're going to be bad for a couple more years, but we're not trading up here. Pick number two is going to be C. Phillips. And this is the big pick. I wanted Miro. Going into the draft, I said, listen, I want to trade up to three to get Miro. Will the Arizona Coyotes take Miro? And they do. Miro goes to the Arizona Coyotes, the sniper. I wanted a sniper. Okay, so we got the fourth overall pick. It's, it's not a bad pick. Savoie we can go with. Matthew Savoie. 67 goals in 66 games. I want Savoie. Okay, he's definitely... Our, our dochi right now uh yokim camel i don't like a two-way forward would be good but not really looking for that brad lampert i know he gets good in this too superstar x factor okay this slack off guy doesn't look too bad two-way forward again euro is a sniper i kind of i'm savoir looks really good 67 goals i know the strength of competition is not crazy but Oh, God. It's honestly between probably uh, Savoie and kind of like the slap and Kemmel, to be honest. Because Kemmel's 7 goals, 16 assists, and an A-plus league is, is pretty good. So it's between one of these two. Oh, do I want the Canadian or the Finnish player? Uh... I'm going Savoie. I'm drafting it. Savoie. Matthew Savoie. Welcome to the team. He's a playmaker. Not what I was looking for, to be honest. Not what I was looking for. There's Kemmel. He goes at 78 overall. Medium elite. Brad Lampert. 78 medium elite. Slav Slaver Sky. 76 medium elite. Euro the sniper. I would have loved to get Euro. The Ottawa Senators draft him. Geeky. And then we're back on the clock here. And we don't really know much about the rest of these guys. A defenseman wouldn't be a bad idea. We do need to replace Drew Doughty. And they have two really good defensemen at the top of the board here. Six foot four, six foot one, 18 years old. Both of them shoots right, shoots right. It's who do we want a center here too. Not a terrible year for him. I think a defenseman is what we got to do here. Weaknesses, all oh, this. Stefan, a backman doesn't look terrible either. Stefan Backman. Size and skill. Heavy slap shot, size and strength. He might be a defensive defenseman. Two-way defender. The only thing is I don't know anything about the, either of these guys. And they're interchangeable. David Yurichek. Or Simon Nemec. Uh, six goals, five goals. It looks like Simon Nemec's a bit better. They both don't get penalty minutes, which is a good thing. No report. Slovakian or Czech Republic? Mm. Or is this one Czech Republic? Yeah, I think that one's Slovakia. Oh, man. I don't know what to do here. I got a minute left on the clock. Nemec or Yuri check? Nemec, Yuri check. Nemec, Yuri check. Nemec, Yuri check. I'm gonna go with Nemec. Simon or Simon Nemec, and he is an elite defenseman. Okay, what is the other guy? So they were both pretty good. I mean, you choose who you want. Two way defenseman, both of them, 74, 75. We got the higher overall potential guy. But I think, honestly, I want to trade this 23rd overall pick. I think, let's see. Is there anyone? Oh, who's this? A grinder? Superstar X Factor? We know he's going to be a superstar X Factor. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad move to try getting him. Another defenseman, Denton Matechuk. Matewychuk. Yeah, his name's going to be too hard. I don't think I want to pick him up, to be honest. Uh, NHL ready in one year, so he will be good to go. Similar to P.K. Subban, a sniper, ready in three years. Who is this Nathan Gocher guy? Nathan Gocher. So ready in two years, similar to Milan Lucic. 
He wouldn't be a bad bet, but I think I'm going to pass on him. Isaac Howard, no report on him. Uh, Marcus Vitecek, must bulk up bottom, so yeah, we don't want to worry about I'm kind of looking at this Denton uh, M M Matey check, Matey Chuck. I'm going to just call him Denton Matey. Got a nickname for him already. A sniper, okay, a sniper. You can never really go wrong with a sniper. JVR, three years though. What I like about Matey is he is ready in one year. I'm going to draft him. Another defenseman to add to the team. Top four, medium top four. Not a terrible pick. Probably not the best pick for a first rounder, to be honest. But we got, I think, our last pick. In this year's draft let's see what we got going on here justin cote no I, the one thing i missed though i did want a sniper i did want a sniper and it doesn't look like we're gonna get one unfortunately do we have any gems that we can potentially find here a bust don't want this a bust zach stringer never even heard of him okay so cote 17 overall or 17 years old Five foot seven, 154 pounds. He's probably not the best pick. He's looks to be like a playmaker, but you never know. Another guy, Jordan Dumas. Who I'm trying to look for like a natural goal scorer here? Playmaker. Is he really a playmaker though? Lucas Lampkin. Might have to go off the board here. Not seeing anything yet. A sniper here. This is the closest thing to a sniper. Mar Marjim Canny. But I can't. I wonder if we can move this pick for a first round next year to a good team. Let's see if we can make that happen first. So let's find trade. See if anyone wants this this pick. So a second. So a second next year and a fourth this year. Second and a third. Connor Brown. A fourth and a fifth. Uh, second next year, fourth this year, second next year, fourth this year. On it, second and fourth next year. I might just. Mm. You know what? I'll just do a second and a fourth next year. I'll accept that. I want to see what that kid was, though. The 17 year old. Top nine high. Okay, I'm glad I didn't draft him. That's not the best potential. Did I miss out on anyone? So Pakaslati. Pakaslati. Oh my god. Mikulski. I missed out on Mikulski. Dumas. I just missed out on Mikulski. That's a good defenseman too. 71 overall. Another good defenseman. Another good player. Another good player. So I think I was going to pick Kote. So... Honestly, not the worst move. Not the worst move. Let's simulate to our next pick. I believe it's the last pick we have in the draft. And it's time to find our ringer in the fifth round. Who can we locate here? This guy's got medium elite defense, oh, offensive defenseman. Doesn't look like he's good. Lack size. NHL already in five years. Yeah, we don't, we don't want that. We don't want that. This guy. NHL already three years. A little bit better. Four years. Don't know anything about this guy. You know what? Let's take a chance on a goalie here. We forgot to look at the goalie. So Tyler Brennan. Or we go Ian McGillis. Tyler Brennan. You didn't really play NHL already in four years. Four years for him too. I mean, let's just take a chance on a goalie here. I'm going to go with. I'm not going to take a chance on the goal. Those goalies don't look good. So you know what? We're doing it. Brennan. Tyler Brennan, fringe starter. I mean, not good at all. But that's the end of the NHL entry draft here. I think we did pretty good. The second round, we could have definitely got that good prospect. But you're not going to get it every time. Let's simulate to the re-sign stage here. I think we made some steps. We got rid of a couple players, too. We got some more cap space on the squad. So yeah, we have $40 million in cap space. Gabe Velarde wants a contract. Look at that. Grows all the way to an 85 overall. What type of deal can we get him on? You know what? Five years at 4.4. Six. Oh, yeah, let's go five years at 4.4 mil. See if we can get him on a better deal. 
Dustin Brown. I don't, we're not going to bring him back yet. We might bring him back in the future, but not right now. Andreas Anthony, see you. Is he a two? Yeah, he's a sniper. Andreas Anthony, see you. We're going to bring him back for now if he doesn't want crazy. We have money. Let's just do one year, though. Just one year for Andreas Anthony, see you. Uh, Adrian Kempe, I'd like to bring back, even though he didn't grow. He wants a lot of money. I, again, two years for him works. Two years, $4 million. I don't mind it. We have cap space right now, so not the end of the world. Alex Edler, we will let walk. Sean Walker, we have back. I'm actually going to sort this like that instead. So, Meta Chuck, we're going to leave in the minors for one year. He's only 17 years old. I mean, he's got tons of time to grow. Savoie, we're going to sign to a deal. He's definitely going to be playing the NHL this year. Uh, Nemec, we're going to sign to the AHL. I don't... Yeah, we'll sign to the AHL. Um, Dustin Brown will leave. Edler will leave. Tynan will leave. 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 Actually, Takachev. We'll bring him back. You can help him in the minors. Don't need Ida Sodergrand. Don't need Strand. Zot. Burke. Gunstrom. Gunstrom would be a bad one to bring back. One, one, mil, one mil is not terrible. Uh, Druzy, I don't mind bringing back either. Uh, Timishov. Do we want to bring back Timishov? We won't bring... Eh. I'll qualify him. I'll qualify him. But I'm not sold on bringing him back. Anderson Dolan, definitely want to bring back. He's got good potential. So we'll bring back Anderson Dolan. Then Anderson. Mm, I don't really want to bring him back, to be honest. What's his potential? Or, uh, two way forward? Okay, we'll bring him in. Two way forward. I do like two way forwards in this game. It's how you win. Burke, Lazat, definitely bringing Lazat back. He wants no money too, which is the best part. Um, Mover Mover Air, don't need Soderstrom, Sodergrain, Strand, Dustin Brown. Okay, let's advance a day and see who we need to sign. Looks like everyone that we offered signed so far. Let's go back to the top. So Nemec. Do we want to bring Nemec back? Oh, look at our contracts actually. I thought we signed Nemec, but I guess not. Let's sign Nemec. Nemec has been signed, hopefully. So let's advance a day and make sure he gets full roster. Okay, this is not good. Who do we have on the team that we need to get rid of? This guy can go. Bio player. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Pinelli. No, we want to keep Pinelli around. Anyone else that we can buy out right now? Just to get rid of them, get rid of them on the team. Uh, team Madden bio. We got to make some roster space, so it's all good. Do do Anderson and Dolan. We just signed him. I'm gonna keep him. Andreas Anthony, see you. You know, and more can go. Buy out more. Okay, so we bought out a couple players, so we now we have a little bit more space to sign a couple more of these guys. Don't need, don't need, don't need. Uh, Dustin Brown, no, no, no. I guess we only had to buy out one person. Yeah, I guess we only had to buy out one player, but that's fine. And then Nemec, boom. And then before I forget, I gotta check the goaltenders. So goalies, anyone need a contract? We need one goalie with a contract here. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna cut this guy. And then sign, yeah, okay. So buy out, buying out a couple guys here, you know? And then we will sign, yeah, let's sign uh, Valalata, Valalata. And that has been signed. Okay, so I think we got everything that we need now. Let's go to free agency. Okay, Valata's back. Okay, that's fine, you don't need to come back. There we go. Nemec is back on the squad too. Our draft pick, there it is. I think we've taken some good steps in the right direction already. But free agency here. So we have a lot of money. So I don't mind making a splash here. <laughs> Obviously not a splash like that. Let's go to um, unrestricted free agents. So Evan Rodriguez up to an 86 overall. I'm going to sort this by overall rather than, than salary. So Genny Malkin, not someone we want to bring in. Johnny Hockey, eh? 
Tony Hockey wouldn't be a terrible one to bring in. Is he listed as a no? He's a playmaker. I just don't think we need a playmaker. We need a sniper, a goal scorer. So I'm not too interested in Johnny Goudreau. Jonathan Klingberg, though. Klingberg is a player I'm interested in. How does he simulate? For an offensive defenseman, not the greatest. But I do think Klingberg would be a good addition to replace Drew Doughty. The contract's not terrible. The contract's not terrible. So you know what? Let's offer Klingberg a deal at six years at $7.8 million. We have a lot of cap space, so we have to use it or else we're going to start sending it on random players. So we signed John Klingberg. Hopefully he signs with the LA Kings. Definitely bolstering up that defensive lineup. Who else can we look at grabbing here? I'm thinking some two-way forward guys. Who's this? Riley Smith, Superstar X Factor. Wouldn't be bad. Not the best defensively, unfortunately. Burakowski, Mark Giordano, Josh Manson, a defensive defenseman. He wants too big of a contract. I can't. Jason Spezza? Oh, how do I say no to Jason Spezza? I love Spezza, but this is not the Ottawa Senators franchise rebuild. We're not bringing back a Jason Spezza. Dominique Kuba, Kuba Leak, Leak. I cannot speak. Um, he's a sniper. Okay, so he's a sniper. 83. 5 mil, though. That's definitely not something I would be doing. Um, let's check out goaltenders, because that's probably the most important need for us. Um, Jack Campbell. How's Jack Campbell's numbers? Superstar X Factor, which is very nice to see. I honestly might go after Jack Campbell here and then get rid of Marc Andre Fleury, wouldn't be bad. Kakinen, or Lincoln, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How do we want to play this? I'm going to try getting Jack Campbell as a 10D just for, for short term. Try getting him for two years. Money won't be an issue during that time. So, two years, $5 million. And then as the backup, I'm going to try moving Jonathan Quick just because he's got a big cap space. And I'm going to try to bring in Georgiev as my backup goaltender. So we'll sign him to four years, $2 million, or five years, 1.95, just what he wants. No other team's interested, so I think I'll be able to get that deal done. And then other than that, I don't think we got too many other needs. Let me check all skaters. Top six here. Mm, not not too interested there. Sammy Blay, Blay. That wouldn't be bad for the fourth line. This guy would not be a bad fourth line player. Is he a two-way forward? He is a two-way forward. But then we have under him Isaac Ratcliffe. Who do I prefer? Ratcliffe or Sammy Blay? Three and a half. To two and a half. I think Sammy Blay would be a better option between these two in particular. Yeah, I'll go with Sammy Blay. A couple of years in the squad. Honestly, six years. I don't have to worry about it. Boom. He has been offered a contract now. And then I got to sign someone. Let me advance a couple of days and then I'll have to get someone a big contract. Actually, I need to... No, we're not training Victor Arvidsson. Thank you very much. Let's go to propose trade, clear a little bit of cap, uh, roster space so we can actually make sure we get, actually we're only at 33 now. Okay, we're good. We are good. Anyone that we want to get rid of though, it's just taking up a space for no reason. What older players do we have that are not playing? Yeah, so Timoshev. Yeah, I do not want to sign Timoshev to a $5 million deal. Yeah, that's just not going to happen. Um... There, this is a very young team. Very, very young team. Yeah, we'll just move him for a seventh or sixth if they will even accept that. No, they definitely will not accept that. Seventh next year, maybe. Get rid of that. And then can we get rid of Jonathan Quick? Jonathan Quick, there it is. Trade, accept it. Thank you for all your service, Jonathan Quick. But it's time to go. Our cap space is unreal. So we have, we can make a couple moves here. I want to wait for everyone to accept the deals, okay? So any other deals? 
So John Klingberg is on the team. Jack Campbell is on the team. Let's go back to the free agency period here. We have $21 million. Even if we're not going to sign someone, we got to spend some money or they're going to spend the money for us. So who can we go with here? Johnny Goudreau. You know, you're just looking at me. You know what? Let's try Johnny Goudreau. Two years. I don't want to put on the team for long. Just two years at $9.7 million. We need to kill this cap or else, you know, they're going to spend it on some random team that sucks. Labushkin. You know what? Labushkin, you too. Two-year deal. Both of you. You enjoy. Both of you guys, welcome to the team, hopefully. And you know what? Throw him in there too. Give him a bone. Fourth line, center, one year. We got to spend some money. Jason Spezza, pretty good overall. Is he a superstar X Factor? He is a superstar X Factor, natural born leader. I love to see that. Jason Spezza, welcome to the LA Kings, hopefully. I'm going to simulate to the next season. Let's see if everyone accepts. So, Johnny Goudreau is part of the Los Angeles Kings coming over from the Calgary Flames. And then, do we also get the other signings? Labushakin is part of the squad. And finally, Jason Spezza joins the team. Let's go. I'll see you guys in the next season where we will uh, check out the rosters, the new and improved year two LA Kings. All right, year number two, and our team looks substantially better as our first line, Johnny Hockey, 89 overall, Quinnen Byfield, 88 overall, and Clayton Keller, 85 overall, playmaker, power forward, and then playmaker. Arguably, I would wish someone else was a sniper or something on that first line. But Clayton Keller, I mean, I'm pretty sure he scores, if I remember correctly. 24-25. Eh, not not crazy, but um, eh, it's not crazy. Hopefully, uh, Matthew Savoie is going to eventually take Goudreau's spot up there once he gets a little bit of development on him. Turcotte, two-way forward, and then Kaliev, a sniper. So I like that mix there. But the overalls are quite low, but they do have a plus five uh, morale boost, so hopefully that helps out there. Third line, Adrian Kempe, Jason Spezza, and Gabe Velarde. I want to see. Spezza might have better. Yeah, Spezza has the best face-off rating there. And then fourth line, Andreas Anthonisiu, Rasmus Kapari, and Victor Arvidsson. I think there's no way we don't make the playoffs here, to be honest. And then defensively, Bjorgfant, John Klingberg, Brant Clark making his NHL debut, Mikey Anderson, Sean Walker, and Ilya Labushkin. And then on the power play here, we got Goudreau, Byfield, Kling Keller, Savoie, and Klingberg. And then second, we got Kaliev, Turcott, Velarde, Victor Arvidsson, and then Brant Clark. Hopefully the power play is a little bit better than last year. Penley Kill, we're rocking with Gabe Velarde, Adrian Kempe, Jason Spezza, and Victor Arvidsson. And then in the nets, we have Jack Campbell and Lucas Dostal. I decided with Lucas Dostal because he has higher potential and younger than uh, Georgiev. So Georgiev will be playing in the minors, unfortunately for him. But that is our team. We'll go to the minors here. Let's just do best lines. Head coach preferred lines. Minuses everywhere. Uh, kill Thomas. Poor guy. But uh, let's see. Do we have any potential guys that we want to start up the roster? I do want to bring him up. Uh, Faggy Mule. Uh, Goonstrom. Brendan Lemieux. Anyone else in particular? Helen in. Might just bring him up just so like uh, minors. It's not crazy. Uh, defensively, Wad, Tuerzy. I think I want to bring Dorsey up. We look favor. Oh, yeah. Nemec will be playing high. Nemec for sure. Top pairing. Top pairing with Wah, 100%. And then what is Marcus Phillips? Top six. Uh, Jordan Spence, a top six. And Dorsey, top six. A favor, top six. So, yeah, I'll keep it like that. And then in the nets here, we're going to be rolling with Georgiev, most likely, who is fringe starter. Yeah, we'll, we'll roll like that. Um, so that's gonna be the rosters. I mean the team is really good and we're listed as sellers I do not think we're gonna be bad this year. So I kind of want to deal our first round pick here Because look at the trade value we got on it. Actually, it's not crazy the first round pick Who do let's take a gamble on who's gonna suck? Buffalo you think Buffalo will suck? I think they were good last year 
I think Buffalo was good last year, but we can trade it for another first who we think is a team that's not going to be good. The Calgary Flames. I mean, they lost some players. We can probably get a first, two firsts for our first here. Playing with the system a little bit here. Playing with the system here. Nashville second. Yeah, why not? I'll give you a first and second for two first. Trade accepted. So hopefully Calgary sucks. I didn't even see who's on their team, so I probably should check that out. But they have Matt to Chuck. So yeah, they have a good team. So Calgary definitely has a good team. So maybe trading our first wasn't the best move there. But they don't have uh, Majapani anymore. Elias Lindholm. So it's maybe, maybe it'll end up being good. But we do trade our first round pick. So that gives us no reason. We cannot be bad this year. The trade block. They wanted me to get rid of Klingberg, Spezza, and Lewushikin. No thank you. So we are listed as conservative buyers now. Let's simulate to the regular season as we got to simulate the first game. We have to. It's just the way it goes. Tradition. The Leafs want Jason Spezza back for a second and a fourth. No, sir. Jason Spezza is going to be a key part of our team. We are not going to be trading the man, the myth, the legend. But next up, what we got to do, we got to find jersey numbers. Where's jersey numbers in here? Jersey numbers, jersey numbers, captains and jerseys. We need to assign ourselves a new captain. Unassigned, unassigned. Victor Arvidsson's the captain right now. Unassigned. All right. It's the future now. We need a leader. We need a leader. And that leader, Jason Spetz, will be one assistant captain. We need a leader on the team. Kling, or Goudreau, probably our best player, but he will not be around long. He will not be getting a letter. And we, we need someone in the back end who's going to lead this team for the next 10 years. And that's going to be Brant Clark is going to be the second assistant captain. And then captain the team, the heart and soul of this team. Turcotte, Gabe Velarde, Savoie. But we're going Quentin Byfield as the captain of the Los Angeles Kings. The team has been selected. Number 99. No, I'm not wearing that. I didn't mean to click on there. Back, Captain Quinn Byfield, 20 year old. I mean, it's showtime. Alley Kings versus the San Jose Sharks. Game one of the regular season. Can we pull through? We're on the road. First period, 0 to 0. We're out shooting them 12 to 6. A good first period. Second period, and we do get scored on first. As our offense just nowhere to be found so far. We're down one nothing. Out to them twenty three to sixteen. Still can't break past. I think Martin Jones is in the net. Maybe I don't even know if he's on San Jose anymore. But ten minutes left. Still down one nothing. Come on, boys. Come on. Six minutes left. Five minutes left. Are we gonna get shut out in game number one? One minute, and there it is. Kaliev scores with two minutes left on James Reimer as we extend this game to go to overtime. Can we complete the comeback? Nick Benino ends the game in overtime as we fall 2-1 to one to the San Jose Sharks. But I think we're going to be good this year. I don't know. I just have a feeling. I have a feeling we're going to be good, but that's going to do it for this episode. Episode 3 in the books. The LA Kings look completely different. Let me know in the comments what you think about what we did with the team, the, the acquisitions we picked up. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Peace.